storage pools give you a, a give you a multitude of different things that that help make storage management a bit easier. I would say uh, when you have a storage pool, you you no longer have to think about uh, how many IOPS or or how many IOPS I'm going to squeeze out of you know let's say eight drives or so to speak. Storage pool allows you to put multiple different types of drives into one container, let's say, right? So you can have a storage pool that's got a tier of SATA disks, it's got a tier of SAS disks or fiber channel, and it's got a tier of, let's say, EFD. So what do you get out of this? For one thing, you get a higher spindle count than you would have gotten out of your traditional RAID group. A traditional RAID group, you max out at a specific number of disks um, versus in a storage pool, you can literally have hundreds of disks inside one storage pool. Uh, you get ease of management. If you wanted to, let's say, expand a LUN that was living inside of a rate group, to expand that LUN, you can do either one of two things. You can either create a new user size and migrate your data from the old LUN to the new one, or you create another LUN that is, let's say, the difference between, you know, you've got a 100 gig LUN and you want it to move to a 150 gig LUN, you'd create a new 50 gig LUN and you'd concatenate them together to create one larger LUN. Versus in a storage pool, you don't have to do any of that. You literally right click on the LUN and you say expand and the array does the math behind the scenes and will present to the host a larger LUN.